In the immediate aftermath of the shooting, Sergeant Garrett Everett arrived at Reno and Haven and saw the need for medical triage area. For hours, Sergeant Everett and other LVMP officers, along with the off-duty nurses, paramedics, and firefighters, triaged at least 50 gunshot victims. They ran out of tourniquets and began using anything they could find to stop the bleeding, to include their own hobble devices they used during normal course of their duties. These officers calmly took care of the wounded and the dying as they waited for medical transport, at times placing the critical victims on the backs of trucks so they could get them to the hospital quickly. Not all the victims made it out as the night wore on. Those same officers were assigned to guard the deceased victims, not allowing any of them to be left alone. So the undersheriff and myself, Kevin McMahill, took it upon ourselves to go out and visit some of my officers yesterday um, to discuss their mental state, to thank them, and check on their overall condition. These particular officers sustained some substantial wounds, and some of them you have heard in the public forum already, and some you haven't. But there's a couple key individuals I want you to write about. And one of them is Brady Cook. Uh, Brady uh, sustained four separate gunshot wounds. And when I say separate, that's entries and exits. It's not actually four separate bullets. And his important piece on Brady is the suspect was fired upon the crowd. As our officers started to arrive via vehicles, which Brady was occupying one, it is readily apparent to me that he adjusted his fire and directed it toward the police vehicles. So the response of those individuals, I believe, saved lives. No matter what his personal vendetta is against the police or not, maybe he was preventing the wolf from getting to his door sooner than later, um, but he chose to fire upon the police vehicles. Uh, Brady sustained a substantial wound to his shoulder, uh, through his bicep, into his chest, and out his back. And the reason why I bring this one up, he asked me if he could go back to work today. Samuel Whitwer, excuse me for my emotion. Samuel was laying on his couch with a very in intensive wound to his leg. During the melee and his attempt to evacuate victims, he sustained a broken leg, but he remained on scene and provided security for the medical personnel. So at this point, I want to thank the community. I want to thank you for letting me be your sheriff and Vegas strong. Thank you.